back in the service department area right now. I'm gonna check on the progress of Danny Hayes Road King. Back here with Steve Garcia, our service manager. We might catch Eric back here as well, who's actually doing the work. Yeah, so I kind of sprung this project on Steve and Eric a little bit. Kind of agreed to it without really consulting them first, uh, which I caught a little bit of flack for, but they're being good sports. And yeah, usually when a bike, when the integrity of the, the bike's been compromised as much as this one, we start to question a lot of things because when a bike leaves our shop, it's gotta be 100%. And that's, that's definitely the goal right now, but Let's see if we can uh, catch Steve here for a second and get some of his thoughts, his initial reaction to this bike and the condition that it's in. All right, Steve, so when the bike first came in, man, like what, what were your initial thoughts? Did you feel like it was a big challenge to get this thing roadworthy again? No, i just a little bit in shock. It's something different. You don't usually see bikes that are bashed in other than in the collision department. So when you brought this on to me, I thought you were joking at first, but at first I thought you were joking, but then when you had the look on your face and I was like, okay. He's not playing around. But it's nothing that we can't do. It's just something a little different. We know that Bogan thrashes everything, so it's okay to kind of look the other way in this situation when we usually don't in other situations. But key factors is we did a road ready on it. With, with, we made sure it wasn't gonna blow up on him. <laughs> That's the main thing. We know that he gets crazy, so we wanted to make sure he was comfortable while he was doing his craziness. So hooked him up with a crowd setup with the, pull, with the Raptor pullback. Pick them up with an ODI bar, get him closer to the bike. His old bar setup, we noticed he was kind of reaching too far forward. So you never want that, especially if he's going to take it through a mud road or in water or whatever craziness he does. So I think with the little bit of things that we did do, one, we made it reliable, two, comfort, and then three, a little bit more accessories, give him more up to date. He had a little bit of the older stuff, older exhaust, older crash guard. The front fender was mangled. The front wheel wasn't even spinning properly. <laughs> so we had to get him a new front tire and um, obviously a front fender. Santoro was cool enough to hook us up. Once again, shout out to Santoro. We got him their uh, updated engine guard and saddlebag guards. He didn't have saddlebag guards on before, which is why the bags are as thrash as they are. But yeah, I thought you were joking when you brought this bike to me. I'm like, what are we doing? Like. <laughs> We're known to do custom. I'm like, are we going to deck this thing all out and then watch a video and break my heart? But Were there other things as we were like tearing into this bike? Were there other things that were like mechanically were just like not safe or not up to spec? Yeah, he, he... so this bike wasn't safe at all. I don't know how this thing was on the road for so long. Um, somebody drilled holes in the frame, which we can't do nothing about that, but the frame's not too weak. It's not cracking. Uh, they put a skid plate on here, not typically how we would mount a skid plate, but it was on there and it worked. So with just little things that we fixed, the air cleaner was holding on by a thread, so we fixed the air cleaner. Um, the exhaust was all broken in five different places, so I don't know how that was hanging on by a thread. So we eliminated a lot of the two into two exhaust, we got a two into one, just because the, <laughs> the videos that I've seen, um, that exhaust should have broke a long time ago. So you think this thing's gonna make it another five, yeah. ten thousand um, miles now that we the motor's healthy, got good compression, so we're good on that. It doesn't look quite as good as your typical Harley Davidson, but inside the guts are good. Like I said, we fixed the air cleaner, got him a new air cleaner, fixed that. We fixed a couple broken bolts that he had on the primary. Um, fixed a couple little leaks, nothing major. Um, but I think it's knock on wood gonna be safe. Mechanically, <laughs> it's 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 good. All right on, cool. That's all he can ask for. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks, go, go, Steve. Go. See you soon. So Eric just informed me that Danny's bike is pretty much 95% complete. So we're back in the service department. He's gonna give us a little bit of a, a walk around. We're gonna check it out, make sure we're not missing anything, make sure we're not overlooking anything. Obviously we want Danny to be as safe as possible on his next voyage, wherever that may be. 
Eric's informed me that all the parts that we got for this job specifically have been installed at this point. And so we still got about a week time left before Danny shows up. So if there's anything like last minute that we want to do, we got to really make that decision now and make sure we get the part here in time to have it installed before he's riding out of here on his next adventure. So let's take a close look at this bike and see what we got here. So Danny really had two primary objectives as we were overhauling his Road King special here. The first one being that he wanted to make it as safe and as reliable as possible. So as we were going through the bike, we wanted to make sure that everything was good, tires, the engine, there's no leaks, things like that. And we replaced some critical parts on the bike to make sure that it was going to be as reliable as possible. He didn't want to be stranded in some remote location in the middle of nowhere without access to a proper repair facility and access to parts to, to make repairs. And he really Really wanted to make sure that the overall appearance of the bike remained relatively the same as they've been in his past vlogs. He wanted to make sure that people knew that hey this is still the same Road King special that I've logged you know thousands of miles on and so we wanted to retain you know all the same like paint and bodywork for the most part and so it was just changing some of these critical components and so we weren't really going to be changing the overall appearance and aesthetics of the bike. And the other issue that he brought up was just the overall ergonomics of the bike. He just felt like he was in a weird riding posture with the bars leaning too far forward and so we ordered up some parts and did up like the bar and seat situation to give him a lot more comfort than he is used to on his last trip to Mexico. So we had several sponsors step up and want to support Danny in his next adventure that I definitely want to mention. First of all Harley Davidson Motor Company stepped up and wanted to supply all of the genuine Harley Davidson replacement parts that we put on this bike and I'll be going through those in detail in just a second. And Danny wanted a turnout exhaust system that was a smaller pipe so a little bit smaller footprint on the bike so as not to have a long pipe hanging out the back of his saddlebags and I recommended Two Brothers Racing Exhaust System to him and he loved it as soon as he laid eyes upon it so that's perfect that's exactly what I want so Two Brothers Racing stepped up and hooked up Danny with this pipe so shout out to Two Brothers Racing as we all know we've seen Danny drop his bike many times as he's going off-road in these hairy situations and inevitably you're gonna drop your bike when you ride in roads and situations that aren't really tailored for on-road motorcycle I said hey you know what I know just the company the best in the business in terms of engine guards and, and so Santoro Fab Works stepped up and provided the engine and the saddlebag guards. They love following along in Danny's travels and so they wanted to make sure that if in the unfortunate circumstance of the bike tipping over that he would have the best protection available on the market. And then Rick Rack, as many of you guys have seen in Danny's past videos, always supply his luggage that clips on to the Harley Davidson luggage rack in the rear so he can quickly clip it on and off and get into his hotel room. And last but not least, we can't forget to talk about Wilbur's suspension. Wilbur's flew in their number one technician, Stefan, and he gave Danny's Road King a refresh on the suspension, new rear shocks, and he rebuilt the front end with new oil. So I think between the Wilbur's suspension, the new Harley Davidson Signature Series seat with the back rest and the better pullback with the Kraus risers. He's going to be a lot more comfortable in the saddle and he's going to be more capable of enduring those long mileage days. And so let's jump into some of the details on these parts that we use to revamp Danny's bike. All right, so a couple of the things we got here. So we put the, the thicker, nicer seat on here for Danny. We got the backrest on there as well. One of the things he was talking about was having a little bit better comfort on those long rides. So a little bit more cushion for the seat there. We wanted to give Danny a little bit more lighting as well. So we got the passing lamps on here. These are all genuine Harley Davidson day makers. So we basically matched the headlamp he had on there already. And then we put on the Harley Davidson auxiliary lights with the LED turn signals as well. His fender was completely shot. So we got a fresh fender from the motor company totally brand new yeah his old fender was completely hammered so brand new fender his oil cooler was completely shot as well so we got a fresh oil cooler on there got him some fresh rubber in mexico danny had a lot of situations where his tires were giving him a lot of grief uh, i think at one point his rear tire actually brought him to cry like a baby so we don't want to see Danny crying anymore. So we're going to make sure his tires are, are tip top. So he has the Lowrider S wheel on back there. 
That's for a fitment reasons, so we can fit the Pan America tire in the rear. We're gonna be giving him Pan America tires when the road gets rough, he can swap out. But this right here is basically the wheel off of a Lowrider S. So we got him a fresh tire back there as well. So having some back issues that are probably traced back to just bad ergonomics on the bike. So hopefully what we've done here are gonna improve the ergonomics. Raptor plate on there as well to pull back the bars closer to his body. So bars and risers changed out right there. Same windshield, he's got the wind splitter, Harley Davidson, genuine Harley Davidson wind splitter windscreen there. People are going to love this, man. People are going to... <laughs> we've got two GoPros going. Yeah, we've got two different perspectives. <laughs> now remember, I'm going... to the Danny Hayes. Yeah. You don't have a film crew, but I do have a film crew, so... <laughs> we're, we're, yeah. I, I'm not that big yet, but I will be one day. You will be. This is awesome. This yeah. looks so cool. Yeah, Harley Davidson Motor Company stepped up big. They wanted to support the million dollar Bogan, so... All the genuine Harley Davidson parts you see on here, Harley Davidson contributed and sponsored this build. So that includes the passing lamps on here, front fender. Of course, we transferred the iconic Mexico sticker over. I got, I got to tell you guys, so when I first told Danny I got him a new fender, he's like, oh, well, what about my sticker? I said, it's in the trash can. I don't know, but no, it wasn't in the trash can. We transferred it, so we're good. So we got you the air cleaner on here. So you yours, on? yours is all damaged, I don't know if yep. you remember, but yep. uh, yeah, so the air cleaner and the cover, that's brand new. So all this. And this is metal, which is good. Yeah, so your oil cooler, your oil cooler was thrashed. No, I, it still had life in it. Uh, maybe a little bit, but it was on its way out. I don't want you, I don't want you break it down in the middle of a Route 66. You know yeah, yeah, I mean? yeah, because I'm headed to Route 66, right? Route <laughs> right. 66. That's right. Or is it Africa? Some people think it's Africa. Maybe Africa, I don't know. Wherever it may be, we don't want you breaking down. So, new oil cooler, we put this little cover on here. Awesome which is partially decorative. Yeah, I got your Gremlin bill transferred over. And we've got these these crash bars. Yes, so I since... probably won't use these at all, because I... <laughs> these you you always keep the rubber side down, <laughs> right? Ah, <laughs> oh, check this set. I'm so, so excited. <laughs> so... Holy shit, Two dude. brothers racing. <laughs> Holy shit. You told me that you wanted something that was kind of like a turnout out of the way. You didn't want it to fully extend back to the end of the bags. Yep. So hopefully this is a smaller footprint on your bike, so yep. you won't it won't be as easily damaged is what I'm hoping for. Yep. So two brothers racing, they hooked you up in Arizona. You had this installed in Mexico, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, it's got a new seat. Yep, so this is a Harley Davidson signature series seat. A lot more comfortable than the stock seat you had on here. Plus you yep. got a have you ever ridden with a backrest? Before? No, I've never. No. Game changer, dude. Absolutely. My back, game my back is bad. This will help your back immensely. Yeah. Like, you, this will be like a whole new deal for you. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna love it. So, so we got new suspension put on as well, Well, didn't Stefan came. Yep. Stefan came and he refreshed all your Wilbur suspension. Yep, yep. He did change out your pork oils and all that stuff and he did swap out your rear shock as well. Okay, yep. Uh, I did test ride it. Yep. It feels amazing on yep. the road. Of course, like, we don't have Mexico roads that do this experience. Yep, yep. Uh, but it felt great. And let's talk tires. So we got you a fresh set of Michelin tires. Yep. So these aren't the stock touring tires. Yep. Are they, are they, are, you, are they good tires? These are great tires, yeah. So they're Harley Davidson part numbers. They're yep. Michelin tires. Yep. They, this is the stock tire off a of Lowrider S. Yeah, so they're they're basically in the rear you have the Lowrider S tire because you have a Lowrider S wheel back there. Yep. And these these wheel sizes, you can also fit the Anarchy Wilderness tires on Correct. there as well, which is one of the things you said you wanted. There. Yep. Yeah, so this is their Raptor plate. This brings it back two inches. Yep. Because one of the big things that you said you want us to do was to bring the bars closer to you. Yes, correct. So we got the Kraus Raptor plate on there, brought it back two inches. These are the Kraus pullback risers, 10 inches. Yep. And then we've got it matched with the ODI pull-up bars. They have a little bit of a raise to them, like moto style bar. Yep. So with that and your backrest and your new seat, your comfort oh, should be way cool. better, Can you way just better. Feel me? This this feels really awesome. I feel really cool on that. Good, good. 
That was the objective, man. Do you let people start bikes up in here or not? What? Do you let people start their motorbikes up in here? Yeah, go ahead. Start it up. So this switch here, off, okay, on, and... Yeah, those are your passing lamps. Okay. So I gotta give credit where credit is due. So yep. our uh, our technician, Eric, he yep. put the whole thing together. Our service manager, Steve, he's serviced a lot of this stuff. Uh, I put those two guys through a lot of headache and everything, uh, to source some parts and getting everything and piecing it all together in the time frame we were working with. So kudos to the service department. They're the ones that really make this thing you know, happen behind the scenes. So yeah. thank you guys. And the biggest performance mod to this motorcycle here is we removed about four and a half pounds worth of dirt and debris all over the bike. So actually really? it's gonna weigh a lot lighter too. <laughs> can you just flip those lights on so I can just get a yeah. shot of those? Oh, your LED rings here. And can you put the passing lights on? How tough does that look? Yeah, that's amazing. So yeah, these these are Harley. So that's their new LED turn signal. It has the, the white halo and then amber when the turn signal comes on. You know that I've named my motorbike now? Oh, yeah, I didn't know that. You know the name? I do, Marine One. Yeah, and look what I've got. Oh dang! And here, and you, and you, and you can put it on, dude. You can crease it in. I love it. My this honor, man. So I want it. I was thinking about here. So this is where it officially becomes Marine One. I love it. The christening, right there. Right there. There it is. Marine One. And it only ever becomes Marine One when I'm riding it. If anybody else rides it, it's just a normal bike. It's like the president. <laughs> if the president's on a plane, it becomes. Air Force One, doesn't yeah. matter what plane he's on. It's the yeah. same with the Road King. It's just I a normal it. Road King. If I'm riding it, then it's Marine One. I love it. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Have you had a few people pop in and have a look at it? Oh, over, yeah. Over oh, yeah. oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I've yeah. heard, they've, they've contacted me. There's like, Peter really? Laidlaws and saw your bike. <laughs> yeah, so a lot of times it's unexpected. You know, they'll, they'll come in and be like, hey, is that Danny Hayes' bike? Yeah. And be like, yeah, actually. Is that custom? No, this is uh, Harley Davidson's enthusiast collection. That's Marine 3. How good does that look? <laughs> well, it'd be, if I sat on it, it would become Marine, Marine one. 1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, this is all factory paint. They did this and they did a Pan America in this, what they call their enthusiast collection. <laughs> this is what I do then. Yeah, you can do a fair bit about it. Hey, mate. What's going on, buddy? Camp with me? I do. Oh, <laughs> How are you? Good. Well, I think the first time in Mexico, I think it was a bit soft, to be honest. Um, but I think Stephen's made it a bit harder. Okay. I just think it was set a bit soft. Yeah, yeah those roads are tough. Oh, the, hey, mate, the roads. Don't even get me started on the roads. What roads? Right? The roads. <laughs> what roads? The roads and the tolls. Yeah. The tolls. <laughs> All right, we got, we got the Danny Parts graveyard over here. Under your seats. Fucking up your off. <laughs> <laughs> So these are your tires. Those are your, those are Andy keys, so I don't know if you want to bring those or not. I'm gonna take them, I'm gonna work it out. I'm gonna, go. I'm taking this. So this is gonna be the biggest pain in the ass, but I've got to ride about 10,000 K somehow, carrying, carrying these. Now these are from the, these oh, come off the, these your come. favorite motorbike. Yeah, well, I don't know if it's my favorite. I do like you, the Panamera. You do talk about though. it a lot, Matt, yeah. out of anyone in the whole world. I mean, we know that Matt Laidlord loves the Pan America because it's built for people that are six foot eight, not for people that are five foot six. But yes, these are the Anarchy Wilderness tires that are designed for off-road purposes on the Pan America. Yeah, what about the road kings? Do you sell many requesting? Well, uh, no, you're the, you're the first one. Um, there's only one Danny Hayes. So. Matt, Matt has a nervous laugh when he says that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm taking these with me. We're gonna work okay. it out somehow. All yours, man. All right. Thanks, Harley. Love you. So we're here with Danny. He's making some last-minute preparations, getting the bike all ready for his next voyage, and he's putting on his cell phone mount. He runs the quad lock. I'm actually thinking about getting one. Sticking it on there. One of the things that's pretty common with these cell phone mounts is if they don't have the anti-vibration properties to them, they'll vibrate really bad and they'll actually destroy your, your camera. 
You ever had any cameras ruined? Because yes. Because of the vibration? Yes, I've had everything ruined. <laughs> He's had everything ruined, so. This is it, let's go. All right, so Danny's he's ready to go. He's, he's shoving off, so hopefully our work holds together. Bring that camera here. You better hope the mechanics have done a good job. You know why? Because you're about to find out, because if shit falls off, if the motor blows up, the last service it had was at Laidlaw's. <laughs> hey, you know, we stand behind our work. Uh, your bike is going to make it. You shouldn't have any issues. And you know what? You're riding a Harley Davidson after all, so most reliable bike on the road. <laughs> the only thing that might not hold up is <laughs> Whatever you got going on back here. This is a this is a professional outfit, mate. <laughs> Whatever you're attaching and strapping to your bike, and I mean this is my work. This is kind of shoddy. <laughs> I don't stand behind this. I'm not a trained technician, so this right here is definitely a little bit dodgy. This is this is professional, <laughs> guys. Listen, for you rookies, don't do this. This is years of training. <laughs> Look at that. Perfect. Hey, precision. Okay, disclaimer, if his turn signal lenses break, it's not our fault, that's not on us. Yeah, that's that's not gonna end well. Where's the brake light? Oh, the brake light, yeah, good question. Uh, yeah, people can't tell if you're stepping on your brakes. Fuck, let's put it somewhere else in. Fuck! Yeah, let's be honest, Los Angeles drivers don't pay attention anyways. Okay, okay guys, this is methodical planning and thinking. Don't try this at home. Do you know what you're doing, Danny? Yeah. And guess what? It's about to rain. Who would have thought? <laughs> and I've only got to I've only got to get rid of two ties and a helmet to get to my rain gear. It's all about the planning. Yeah, it hasn't rained here in probably a month at least. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> Danny will soon start posting his new series on his YouTube channel. Make sure you follow along at Million Dollar Bogan. We wish you luck, Danny. Enjoy the Road King special. We'll see you when you get back. <laughs>